Find the volume of this 3D shape right there. All right, so this is strange. What we have is a prism because whatever your base is on the bottom is also the same on top. So let's go with that first. The volume of any prism, any prism, whether it's a cube or something crazy like this, a hexagonal uh, prism is going to be the area of the base, which we denote by capital B times the height. Okay, the area of the base times the height. Uh, now, the base is a regular hexagon. Okay, so if we were to break this down further and create a new formula, the volume is going to be one half times the apothem times the perimeter and then times H over here. So the volume of a hexagonal prism or a hexagon, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the volume of a hexagonal prism is one half times the apothem times the pyramid times the H. Now, if you're like, what the heck's apothem? Isn't that an animal that only comes out at night? No, that's a possum. An apothem is the length that connects the center of whatever regular polygon you have to the middle of the side of the polygon. It's basically like a perpendicular bisector that connects to the center. So the apothem in this case is 3.5 feet. So if I wanted to find the volume of this, it's one half times the apothem is 3.5 times the perimeter. Now what we have is we have a hexagon, which means there's six sides. All of these sides are four feet. So the perimeter is going to be four feet six times. So that's four, not point, four times six. Now we're gonna multiply that to the height, which appears to be three feet. Now I'm not even gonna to pretend to try to do this in my head, although it's possible. I'm just gonna go off to the side and type it all in my calculator. And Mr. Calculator says 126. Now my unit of measure is feet, so since we're dealing with volume, we're gonna make sure we say cubic feet. Remember when it's volume, it's cubic units. And in this case, we get a pretty nice number because the numbers that they gave us weren't so bad. But the volume of any prism is the area of the base times the height. We were able to break it down a little bit further since the bases were rectangular, um, rectangular polygons, I'm sorry, regular polygons. Oof, so many, so many things that I have to say, just like my words get jumbled up. But there you go, 126.